Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by HedgeDesignTutorials.com. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'll show you how you can put yourself in the photo next to your favorite celebrities. In this educational tutorial, as an example, we'll put Salma Hayek next to Robert De Niro in the photo. First, we'll need to cut out Salma Hayek from its original photo. So, let's go to the tools bar and select the pin tool to create a path around our subject. After creating the path, we'll go to the Paths panel, then hold Ctrl key and click the thumbnail of the path to convert it into selection. Now we'll go to Edit menu and choose Copy from the list. We'll create a new layer and give it a name. Then we'll go to Edit menu and choose Paste. Also, I'll need to cut the hand over the shoulder of Al Pacino and this portion of Robert De Niro's jacket. So, let's use the pen tool again to cut the hand. Again, we'll repeat the same thing, we'll go to the Paths panel, then Control click the path to activate the selection. Then go to Edit menu to copy the selection. Let's create a new layer. Then go back to Edit menu, Paste Special and choose Paste in place. Now let's move on to the jacket. We'll repeat the same process to copy the portion of the jacket. Now we'll hold Ctrl key and select both layers, the hand and the jacket, then we'll drag and place them over the layer of Salma Hayek. Now we'll try to place Salma properly in the photo. Then let's use the crop tool to crop the image. To create a good, fake and make things look natural and realistic, you should pay good attention to the placement of your subjects and the difference between body sizes. I'll use the eraser tool to remove the portions that appears from inside the jacket of De Niro and tweak things a little bit more. Now, let's use the Clone Stomp tool to completely hide Al Pacino from the background.
I resize Selma a little bit more and even rotate it a little bit to perfectly fit it in the image. Now I will use the burn tool to create a shadow under the jacket of De Niro and also darken some areas on the hair of Selma. Now, as you can see, the hair of Selma looks hard and edgy, so we'll use the smudge tool to soften the edges of her hair. Now, let me show you another cool technique to enhance the edges of the hair. First, I'll create a new layer, then I'll name this layer Hair Filaments. Then I'll drag it and place it on top of Selma's layer. Now, let's go to the Tools bar and select the Brush tool. As you can see, here I have 41 hair filaments brush presets. To get those presets for your Photoshop, please check the link in the description. You can use those brush presets to generate random hair noise contour around the edges of the hair of your subject to make your cuts look more realistic. To start working with the hair filaments presets, I'll first select the eyedropper tool, then pick the color from the edge of the hair. Then I'll switch back to the brush tool and start clicking to add some hair filaments around the hair of my subject. You can pick any other hair filament preset to create different hair noise variations. Finally, I'll drag and drop the hair filaments layer under the layer of Salma Hayek. Then I'll use the eraser tool to remove any unwanted hair filaments. Now let's select both layers and tap Ctrl plus E to group the two layers. Now it's time to apply some color correction to calibrate the colors between Robert De Niro and Salma Hayek. As you can see, the photo of Salma Hayek contains more reds and orange colors. So I'll try to color correct the Robert De Niro photo to calibrate it with Salma's photo do so, I'll go to Image menu and choose Color Balance from the list. Then I'll try to calibrate the photo using the Color Balance sliders. Now you can clearly see that the photo of De Niro is more detailed and sharper. So to make both photos look the same, we can use the blur tool to blur the photo of Robert De Niro a little bit.
On the other hand, we can try doing the inverse of this technique by using the sharpen tool if we want to unblur an image and make it clearer. I forgot to color correct the hand and the part of the jacket. Now let's select both layers and tap Ctrl plus E to group the two layers. So I'll easily hold Ctrl key and click the thumbnail of the layer to select it. Then I'll make sure Robert De Niro's photo is selected. Then we'll go to edit menu and choose copy from the list. I'll create a new layer. Then I'll go back to Edit Menu, Paste Special, and choose Paste in Place. Now I'll go ahead and flatten the entire image. Then I'll activate the image again. Make sure the Adjustments panel is active. If not, you can go to Window Menu and make sure Adjustments is checked. Now, I'll click this icon to create a new color lookup adjustment layer. Then I'll go ahead and select the Drop Blues 3D Lot. Next, I'll go to Image Menu, Adjustments and select Exposure. Then I'll decrease the offset just a notch. Then I'll decrease the saturation a little bit. Finally, I'll show you a small little trick that will make your fakes hard to detect by human eyes. I'll decrease the size of the image, then I'll resize it back to its normal scale. You can use this trick to decrease the entire quality of the image. So, this is how you can put your photo next to your favorite celebrities. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.